Hi there, it's me Tabs and today I want to talk about a topic that I think has very very split opinions, I guess, um, even within me um, and that topic is sequels because a good while ago, I think it was sometime at the end of 2015 it was announced that there was going to be a new Harry Potter sequel called The Cursed Child and naturally I got very very excited because I am a massive Harry Potter fangirl if you have not already guessed by my little shrine of Harry Potter that I have in my bookshelf um, and naturally I got very very excited and I got even more excited when it was announced that there was going to be a book um, to the stage play that you could read and get if you were not able to go to the stage play which is set in London so I'm not really able to go there but yeah I got really really excited about the whole thing and I started like researching it and stuff like that and I just couldn't wait for any more information about it because as I said I am a huge Harry Potter fangirl and as I got more and more excited about this year and next year just being years of Harry Potter and the fandom reuniting once again and just loads of new merch and Harry Potter merch coming back to the stores and just Harry Potter all around um, I got reminded of the ninth season of Scrubs which side note for me does not exist for me there are just eight seasons of scrubs because the ninth the ninth one does belong nowhere but the trash can let me explain so scrubs was my childhood scrubs was genuinely a part of my childhood because every afternoon the first thing i would do was dump my school bag somewhere sit on the sofa and watch two episodes of scrubs i have watched every episode of every season of Scrubs that was ever released and also JD was kind of like my first TV crush kind of I, I just really really liked his character and he was like my first real like TV show crush if you can say that and then I saw the last episode of what was to be the last season of Scrubs and this last episode was one of the best endings to a TV show, to a funny, um, well, comedy TV show that I think I have ever seen because it, it was just so good. It was so cute and JD, spoiler alert for anyone who has not seen Scrubs, um, he leaves the hospital in which he's working to go to a new working place and his best friend sets up all these like memories and stuff and it's all just well it's basically a an episode of just having the best moments of eight of eight seasons of scrubs and it was so amazing i cried a lot and it was just great best ending to a tv show ever and then there was the ninth season which was genuinely just a huge disappointment it couldn't live up to the standards it wasn't funny as i as it used to be it wasn't as educational and as heartbreaking in parts as it used to be the characters were just not rounded at all they were just flat and static and they just had no development at all it was just it was just a bad a bad sequel to what was my favorite childhood tv show and i thought actually that goes for harry potter as well because spoiler spoiler huge huge spoiler if you have been living under a rock and not have seen harry potter or read harry potter then go do it right now <laughs> first thing and second you might want to turn down um the volume of this video or just get off right away because I'm gonna reveal the ending of Harry Potter here to make a point so you have been warned 
spoiler alert, the last sentence in the last book is all was well. And like Scrubs, like the last episode of the eighth season of Scrubs, that is just a great ending for a story because you know that they have been going through a lot, that the characters have developed a lot through the seven years of Hogwarts. They have had disaster, they have had to fight, and now all is just well and they can live happily ever after. And all was well is just a great sentence to end on, to let the readers know that now everything is fine and that the adventure has been done. And I do believe that might sound a bit weird, contradictory to what Mr. Peter van Houten says in The Fault in Our Stars, that fictional characters do live on after their books or their movies end, because they are in the minds of the people and there they live on. And I fear that now that a sequel is proposed on us Harry Potter fans who have lived through the story with Harry Potter and have suffered with him and just let him live on in our minds after the books, will be disappointed because what I always do when I finish a book is I think about the characters and what they're going to do after the story. Are they going to be a happy family and are they going to Disney World and just weird stuff, stuff that nobody interests, just stuff a happy family does after the adventure is done. Um, and I wish that for, for the characters generally. And I feel that a sequel coming so long after um, the actual book will destroy my, well my, not my illusions, but will destroy my expectations of the characters um, and will destroy the magic of the books as well. Because I love reading like fan fiction, especially about Harry Potter, because people get so creative with that and that is great and I love that there are so many well, so many ways you can interpret like the future of um, Harry, Ron and Hermione, for example. And I think that is so great and that is lovely. And I think that a sequel could just destroy that because it doesn't meet with the expectations of the fans. I just feel that Harry Potter could end up like every other part of Rocky or like Ice Age with like seven trillion movies released already. And to be honest, the new sequels um, kind of have that bitter taste of commercialism with them, which I really, really don't appreciate because Harry Potter always was an escape for me from the real world into those magic walls of Hogwarts, into those minds of the Hogwarts students and I love just escaping to Hogwarts, esca escaping to this world that was so magical, especially for a child to imagine um, living there. And I don't want commercialism to have a place in that world. And that is why I won't read nor see um, the new Harry Potter part, because I fear that it could destroy the magic for me. <laughs> Anyways, that is what I think of sequels and that were just my ideas floating in my head that I wanted to express to you, kind of, um, because I'm genuinely concerned about the whole sequelizing stuff, like also Zoomania and Deadpool. Why make a second part of it? Like, they're just great on their own. Why can't somebody just make a movie that is just good and watchable and lovable on its own without having a sequel or anything that comes after. And yeah, these were just my ideas. I would love to know what you think. Um, text me on Twitter or in the comments, that would be lovely. I wish you a lovely weekend and I will see you next week around, hopefully. <laughs> Bye!